Today we're at Griffith Park Observatory in Los Angeles, and behind me is an obelisk statue honoring six prominent astronomers, Galileo Galilei, Johannes Kepler, and Sir Isaac Newton among them. The truth of the matter is first and foremost, these men were astrologers. In the 1600s, with the rise of rationalism Descartes, astronomy split from astrology in an effort to disengage itself from the more divinatory or spiritual aspects of its forebears. To some degree, this was a natural individuation process. However, in the need to promote the separation, astronomers have sought to discredit astrology in the way that a rebellious teenager tries to leave home. Despite claims of superiority, though, astronomy is simply an extension of astrology in the same way that philosophy, psychology, theology, medicine, and mathematics are. Astrology and cosmic algebra speaks to the totality of life in a way that other disciplines cannot. They tend to focus on the small parts of existence. Astrology speaks to the whole person. Astronomy and science speak to its parts. And this, in fact, has been the bane of our existence in the fact that we feel small and disconnected and, part, and, and separate from a cold and indifferent universe. Please keep in mind that modern astronomy has only been in existence for 500 years. So that has really you know, disentangled us from thousands of years of human wisdom and experience. And its focus on linear time as progress is limited as well, because if we look at our lives, historical or personal, we see that uh, we, are, we exist in terms of patterns and cycles. Science speaks to its parts, astrology speaks to the whole. But even now, scientists and physicists in particular are seeing that there's a unifying force behind all of existence. So it's actually arcing back on itself and coming back to its original forebears. We may actually see the last 500 years as some mad moment in history when the theologies of empiricism and materialism actually, thought, uh, actually made us believe that we could be separate from God. Evolutionary astrology posits that men have two conflicting desires. One is to leave source, and the others return back to God. I believe that science has kind of been the mechanism about how we do this, and we will find that we will need to be reconnected to our center. I predict that astronomy and astrology will reunite in the next few years, and this has already been set in motion by the mutual reception of Uranus and Pisces and Neptune and Aquarius in the mid-2000s. And since the split was never real, just a trick of the mind, like the prodigal son, astrology and astronomy can reunite. I believe that together we can all exist and be at one with the stars. I met astrologer Patrice Kamen.